Moscow says it's prepared to provide safe passage for civilians trapped at a steel plant in Mariupol. This comes as the UN chief confirmed that a third operation is underway to help civilians safely evacuate from the city. Kim Yozan has more. Russia says it is still ready to provide safe evacuation for civilians from the Azov South Steel Works in the Ukrainian port city of Mariupol. According to the Kremlin, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett held a phone call Thursday to exchange their views on the situation in Ukraine. Putin explained that Ukraine should order the troops defending the steel plant to lay down their arms. Scores of Ukrainian civilians, including women and children, remain trapped in underground bunkers at the steel facility. This comes as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said he has spoken to the chief of the United Nations to discuss evacuating Ukrainians from Mariupol. I spoke today with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on what has already been accomplished, about what else we can do to protect the people of Mariupol and the defenders of the city. There was not a single day that I was not working on it, that we were not working on it, and I'm grateful to everyone who helps. He further explained that 344 civilians were evacuated from the city on Thursday. Meanwhile, the UN chief told the UN Security Council Thursday that a third operation is underway to help evacuate civilians from Mariupol. He declined to provide details on the new operation to avoid undermining possible success. Against his backdrop, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson discussed the possibility of supplying longer-range weaponry to Ukraine with his Ukrainian counterpart. In a call on Thursday, the two leaders discussed developments on the battlefield as well as the needs of Ukraine's armed forces. Kim Yusan, Arirang News.